Okay, so in this project, we've taken a growth pie, and which is a add-on for the Raspberry Pi that you can connect <clears throat> multiple sensors of the Raspberry Pi with. Um, we've added three touch buttons and a controller joystick to be able to run custom commands, custom controls in Minecraft. So we have this custom controller that... So this is the final electronics build for my Minecraft controller. I've got three touch sensors. <clears throat> the first one is on D4, the second one's on D3, um, and then finally I've got a touch sensor on A port A0 on the Grove Pi. Um, I've also got a uh, joystick that I'm going to tie into A2 uh, to allow me to sort of move around and jump. You can see a little bit inside this custom box that I made for my controller. Um, you could use any box you like, but I've taken all of my uh, control sensors, punched little holes in the, uh, <clears throat> in the cardboard, and then used some metal ties just to hold them in place, and I've run the uh, the sensor wires into the Raspberry Pi, uh, or into the Grove Pi sitting on top of the Raspberry Pi. And I've also run an HDMI cable in there and a power source, and I'm running Raspbian for Robots um, on the Raspberry Pi. I've got a wireless keyboard and a wireless mouse that's attached, uh, so I can, uh, so I don't have to run the wires into the box for that. Um, and so they all fit snugly into the box. down and I have my custom controller here. So in this project we've taken the Grove Pi, which is an add-on for the Raspberry Pi, we've hooked up a few different sensors to it, and we've created our own custom Minecraft controller. So what I've got in the background is a Python script, which is reading these three sensors and this joystick. So I'm going to show you real quick how to open up the, uh, the custom Minecraft program that we've got. If you go down to menu, the first thing we want to start is under games. After we've done our installation, we should have Minecraft. So if we open that up, see it have the option to start a game. I also want to open up Python 3. It's the programming language that we're going to run our example. So under programming, go ahead and open up Python 3 idle here. I'll take a second to open up. And you'll see the shell for Python 3 opens up. I'm going to go ahead and just minimize this. There, Minecraft's out of the way for a second. And then we'll open up the project file. This one is, I've saved it to the home pi directory. Go ahead and click on Grove Controller. So the code pops up. And we'll go back to Minecraft and we'll start a game. I've got a world that I've already got running, but you can create a new world. See, I've already built decks there. And let's go ahead and escape back out with the game running and go to our, my, our uh, Python program and go to run, run module. And you'll see a little bit of, yeah, there we go. We'll read, these are the joystick reading um, right here. So, so now our controller should work if we just go with the mouse back to the game. We can go ahead and let's see, Got this set up here. I've got build, and if I wanted to build a block, I just hold it down. You see, there's suddenly this awesome, huge block right there. If I want to fly, I just hit the hold the fly down, and suddenly I can move around in big chunks really fast. Whoop! Sort of went the wrong way. There we go. We're back out. If I hit fly again. Maybe we've got to get out of the water first. Yeah. Go towards the big decks in the sky that we've built. And we'll hit the fly button. Should pop us up into the air. There we go. And now we can sort of move around. If we hit push the uh, joystick button down should make us rise up. We can look at decks as we fly, hit it again to stop, and then we can go 
ground in big chunks around the world just by holding the joystick to the side. So if I want to build, say, up in the air, go ahead and hit the build button. I just built a block right there. Now if I want to destroy this block, just hit destroy. And that's kind of it. That's how it works. If we want to get back out, I'll just hit escape to leave the game. Then I can stop my program by going back to the Python shell here and just typing in control C.